police officer by day, beekeeper by night. Tending to his bees is something Detective Cameron Holland never imagined being so beneficial to his mental health. It's a way to break up police work where sometimes it can be really, really heavy, right? Um, and there is something incredibly rewarding. Holland says he was fascinated by the insects after speaking with the president of the Northern Kentucky Beekeepers Association. It led to buying the boxes, bees, and finding the right place, which he says the city couldn't be more excited. I went straight to Amazon and I literally picked up a couple books or purchased a couple books and um, yeah, started reading them and watched videos on YouTube. He checks on the bees to make sure there's sugar water, the queen is okay, and there's pollen. Inside, there are about 30,000 bees. By spring, that number should double. Bee Association president Betsy Rossi saw his hive for the first time since he showed them their new home. I'm so impressed. He's learned a lot and he's being a very responsible beekeeper and he's already working really hard to keep his bees healthy. Rossi says bees play a vital role in keeping our plants healthy. So when Holland came to her, she was excited to help get him set up. It doesn't have to be as intimidating. Yeah, if you take a little bit of time to learn, then a little bit of effort goes a long way. This, despite the sting. I'd rather get pepper sprayed than to get stung by a bee. <laughs> Truly, because at least I can get pepper sprayed and like in about an hour I'm going to be good to go, as long as it's the water kind. But the sting kind of hurt for a little bit. In Wilder, Paige Barnes, Local 12 News. That sting. Holland says his fellow officers are supportive of his new hobby, and of course they're asking when they can get some free honey. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.